A lot of people are wondering, is cryptocurrency still safe? Should you buy Bitcoin? Where should you put your Bitcoin? Is Coinbase safe? And that's the key part that we're going to be breaking down today. What's going on with Coinbase? led by Brian Armstrong here in 2023. Is this still a viable cryptocurrency exchange? Are they solvent? Are your funds at risk if they are held on that cryptocurrency exchange? I'm gonna break it all down and more in today's video. My name is Bosk. you're on the Bosk Coin YouTube channel. Over the last year, we've watched Sam Bankman Fried and FTX blow up. Their contagion has just absolutely massacred many different cryptocurrencies and crypto companies, projects, whatever, leading to bankruptcies, loss of funds, and people just being straight up rugged and scammed. It's terrifying. And uh, that's the situation. So let's look at Coinbase. A lot of people find Coinbase as their first kind of foray into cryptocurrency and coinbase has a lot of things going on these days obviously they have a web exchange but as you can see here they also have an app i use the web exchange as well as the app and i was a gdax user coinbase pro and now they call it like their advanced trading or whatever but it just kind of keeps getting a little bit worse but you do get a sign up bonus when you use our link to sign up but the question do you sign up and is coin the stock worth investing in because they've gone public well you may not want to sign up by the end of this video but there may be something that you'd like to buy according to brian armstrong they have over two million bitcoin worth 40 billion they have a very large quantity of all of the bitcoin that is in circulation very interesting very crazy they shared this in their last quarter shareholder letter you compare that with binance binance boasts having about six hundred thousand bitcoin what's interesting is that coinbase says that they have two million bitcoin and also coinbase pro holds five hundred thousand bitcoin so if those numbers hold true then they have two and a half million bitcoins even just coinbase pro almost is uh, exactly comparable to binance and how much bitcoin they have coinbase defended at piper on very strong cash pile look at the expense structure here right what, what does this mean analyst contends that coinbase and the coin stock could capitalize on the demise of rival exchange ftx in the long run whereas some people said that the ftx bankruptcy would spell trouble for coinbase Coinbase reduced their workforce by 18% in June, but the company's headcount is still up 26% in 2022. For me personally, I think it's very clear and simple. Short term, it's bad news. FTX going up in flames for Coinbase. Long term, it's great. A fraudulent major competitor is now out of their way. Coinbase says that Apple forced them to remove NFT transfers from the iOS wallet because Apple wants to take a 30% cut of the blockchain transaction fee. But like Coinbase doesn't even get that. And it's just astonishing that Apple, one of the most valuable companies in the world, if not the most valuable company in the world, just doesn't understand the basic premises here with Coinbase. So, you know, is it safe to use? Am I signing up? Am I using it? Right? Yes. I still have a Coinbase account. I still use it. I've been cashing out of uh, some cryptocurrencies in my Coinbase account, and I've been adding to my crypto portfolio with Coinbase. But I do not custody my coins on Coinbase. No, we will never make mistakes like that again. I take those coins, I withdraw them to either a hot wallet, right? Something like MetaMask or Exodus, or Ideally, cold storage, like a Trezor or a Ledger. I'll link down to those things in the video description below to get you up to speed. It's just so crazy the way that these events have unfolded. Like SBF, which is basically the Brian Armstrong of FTX, used to break down coin based financials talking about this that whatever talking about them making real money isn't back 2.0 it, it was just one of the most insane scam masquerades the world has absolutely ever seen keep in mind coinbase is a publicly traded company with their coin ticker their coin stock 
They have quarterly earnings released. They have audits. They have so much taking place that FTX never did have. Looking at this sec.gov archive here, they had 90 billion assets on their platform and over 456 billion in lifetime trading volume. This article shows that the FTX collapse could be another Lemon Brothers opportunity. The Coinbase is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the United States. True, the company is facing major headwinds with declining popularity for crypto trading. However, its subscription and services revenue has increased 42% quarter over quarter. Again, industry peer crypto exchange FTX filed for bankruptcy and they had their hack and all that stuff and all that drama. Coinbase has grown the institutional investor side of its business strong and has a partnership with BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager, which is a bit scary in a way. When we look at the cryptocurrency exchanges, 24 hour volume normalized, Coinbase comes in at number two, but when you look at the rankings here, Coinbase comes in at number one with a much higher trust score on CoinGecko. Well, I shouldn't say much higher, but a higher trust score than Binance. Another thing to keep in mind is taking the visits on the web. They do about half as many visits as Binance. But the fact of the matter, in my opinion, I think that Coinbase is a solvent entity and they're safe to use. And I think Binance is if running on a fractional reserve system, if you ask me. I think they have a ton of money, a ton of funds. But, you know, they have their own token and they can prop things up and move numbers around. And they, in my, in my you know, opinion here, I think that they do everything they can to move themselves forward and get ahead and get ahead and get ahead. It's very cutthroat. And it's kind of just like a better run FTX. And that's kind of scary. Again, with coin being publicly traded they are under so much more scrutiny and and their stock has done terrible since it's gone public it's down 84 percent in the last year right and we look at their pe ratio okay it's at negative six at the end of 2021 they had a pe ratio of 14.7 what's a pe ratio though right it's price to earnings it relates to a company's share price to its earnings per share is a pe ratio better higher or low Mr. Google, give us your wisdom. So many investors will say that it's better to buy shares in companies with a lower PE because this means you are paying less for every dollar of earnings that you receive. In that sense, a lower PE is like a lower price tag, making it attractive to investors looking for a bargain there. Wondering what Brian Armstrong thinks about FTX and SBF? He doesn't care how messy your accounting is or how rich you are. You're definitely going to notice if you find an extra $8 billion to spend. Even the most gullible person should not believe Sam's claims that this was an accounting error. It's stolen customer money used in his hedge fund, plain and simple. Coinbase is taking proof of reserves a step forward. As a public company, they already provide their reserves using audited financial statements, but they're exploring various novel ways to prove reserves using more crypto native methods. And they've announced a $500,000 developer grant program to encourage others to do so as well. On-chain accounting is the future. And honestly, I do love that. If you think you have what it takes to do this, absolutely apply. I think this is really cool. Half a million dollars is up for grabs here to really just bring more transparency, not only to them, but then hopefully, ideally, copy and paste it, apply to others as well. And that's kind of funding good public goods and development. It's kind of like in the spirit of Gitcoin and, and their grant ecosystem. So I'm very happy to see that. For me personally, I'm not going to stop using Coinbase. Make sure you always use Coinbase Pro or their advanced trading. The, the fees are astronomically cheaper. Don't get caught in those noob taxes and those fees. Also, keep in mind, if you keep your coins on there, you're trusting them. And you could have everything taken from you overnight. Be involved in lawsuits, bankruptcies, litigation. It's... An absolute nightmare. It's something that we're experiencing here firsthand um, with the FTX and BlockFi and all the other bankruptcies, uh, all the other fallouts. It's uh, you know, it's it's draining. It's devastating. It, it just truly sucks. 
protect yourself, take an extra step. If you're not gonna custody your own coins, then in my opinion, moving forward, you just shouldn't have coins. You know, stick with your dirty dollars, use a stock trading app, you know, fake stocks and stuff like that. It's just, it, what a turbulent time. So is Coinbase safe in 2023? Yeah, I think so, absolutely. Are they solvent? I think so. Um, I'm not gonna stop using them. I think they're one of the best options. My trades on there have gone through quick. My withdrawals have gone through quick. Even ACH transfers came through same day. Whereas others have halted withdrawals or filed for bankruptcy or had slow transfers, which starts to really make you wonder. So uh, we'll see. As always, thanks for watching. Of course, 10 seconds of tarot from our CSO, our chief security officer here at the Voss Coin YouTube channel, Tails Voss, the cutest, the puppiest. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next video. Also, sorry if I sound like garbage. This cold is beating the crap out of me.